I've got all these rolls of tape in various places throughout the shop, and I can never seem to find the one I'm looking for. So I wanted to make something that would allow me to put some rolls of tape on the French cleat wall, and I came up with this design. I wanted to have something that can accommodate rolls of various widths, and it is easy to remove the tape roll from. Sometimes it's easier to have the roll in your hands while you're using it, so the dowel with these 3D printed ends makes it easy to remove and then put back on when you're done. If you want to take it down and put it on the table with you, then there are little rubber feet on the bottom so it doesn't slide around as much when you use it. My first attempt didn't have this notch in it for the tape cutter, so I 3D printed one and used some CA glue to attach it. But the latest version fits part of an old hacksaw blade perfectly. It's possible to make this entire thing from only 3D printed parts, like this one is, except for the dowel, but that could be 3D printed as well. The dowel is just stronger, but it can also be made from other materials as well. I made the middle of this one with scrap plywood, and I tried to make the end covers from acrylic, but the stuff I have is 3 mil, and the snapmaker is apparently only capable of cutting 2 mil with the laser. At least that's the max listed on their settings page. I first tried it on the acrylic set to its usual height from the workpiece, and that didn't even leave a mark. Then I moved it a lot closer and ended up scorching the acrylic, but it did seem to cut through in some places. I imagine with enough trial and error, I could maybe cut through 3mm with the laser, but I haven't had any luck so far. If you've ever managed to cut 3mm acrylic, please leave your tips and tricks in the comments below. Cutting with the laser wasn't working, so I tried the CNC machine. I was not too confident that this would work, and it didn't. The bits cut the acrylic well enough, but it gets hot and melts the acrylic and then the bit is too gummed up to continue. There was no way to get that glob of melted plastic off the bit and in trying to remove it only broke the bit, so it ended up in the garbage. Much like the laser, this may work with the right settings, but I haven't been able to get it to work yet. The fully 3D printed version had almost no issues. The first attempt didn't quite stick to the bed very well, so that ended up being scrapped, but the next one worked just fine. All I had to do was add a brim when printing it, and that helped it adhere to the print bed. And once I had it all put together, I then added a cleat to the back and put it up on the wall. The next one is wood, and I like this one better than the other. It's a bit more work though. The easy way to do this is to let the 3D printer do all the work while you do something else. But I like the idea of making it from scraps of wood from the shop. So I printed a template and used that to trace it onto some plywood. Then I cut it out with a bandsaw. I just cut fairly close to the line because I'll use the router to trim it down after. The width of the duct tape that goes into this holder requires three layers of plywood, and I wanted them all to be exactly the same. So I taped the template to the rough cut piece with some double sided tape, and then trimmed them all out on the router. With all three almost exactly the same, I can glue them together. Many people say they never have enough clamps, and I would be one of those people. I used every mismatched clamp I could find to hold this together. Then when it was dry, I did it again with the third piece. I let that sit overnight to dry and then came back the next day to smooth it all out with the belt sander. This did a great job of removing any glue residue and getting all the pieces the exact same size. After printing another insert for the roll of tape, and then attaching the sides to the middle, I broke off a section of hacksaw blade and glued that on with some CA glue. For the finishing touch, I added some rubber feet to the bottom and then cut a cleat for the back. After the cleat was attached, it went up on the wall with the other one. Originally, the dowels weren't staying in as well as I had hoped, so I 3D printed a few of these little rings that fit snugly on the ends of the dowel. Now the dowel stays put and the tape roll is easy to remove and replace. Having a cleat on the back allows me to put these wherever it makes the most sense at the time. I've added a few more French cleat walls around the shop, above the sanding station, and above the router and belt sander. If I need tape over there for any reason, then it's easy to move there. And I'm going to make several more of these and even design something similar for smaller rolls. 
and I'm going to figure out a good way to cut curves like this into plexiglass. I'd love to hear any suggestions, so please feel free to add them in the comments section. And if you like the video, please click the thumbs up and share it around. It really helps the channel. If you don't like the video, please let me know as well. I'm always open to a little constructive criticism. Click here to see more about the Snapmaker.